Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Wonderful night, whatever it is for you guys are in this lovely, lovely world. So today, you will notice we are standing in light, okay? It, we're, we're in the light again. It feels good. It's warm on the skin. It's invigorating. I probably could throw other words in there, but anyways, all right. According to the poll, which I left up for a little while actually, it was a very, very tied decision between starting the Astraeus map um, as a live stream playthrough or alongside the Aberration playthrough. So, what we are going to be doing is we're going to be popping in the odd episode here and there, um, probably at least once a week. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, at least until Aberration is done. Then we'll pop over here and we'll finish it up. But, uh... We're gonna mix it in a little bit right now with Aberration, just because, you know, gives everybody uh, something exciting to watch. I'm excited to try it, so we are going to be taking our character back and forth between the maps. Um, I did not bring very much with me, actually. You'll notice we have our hazmat suit on. That's only because it just makes it easier than taking it on and off all the time, going back and forth. Um, I brought a Yiling, just to kind of get me back and forth to the obelisk to be able to transfer in and out of the map. Um, other than that, we... Uh, Back out, whoops, back out of that view. There we go. Um, we brought a pick, an axe, some meat, a water canteen, a spyglass, and a cryo and uh, shiny tracker, as well as the CS storage pickup gun. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> that's a tickle in my throat today, anyways. So, what we're gonna do is uh. I spawned in just actually up the river here, and I noticed that there was a bridge here, and I was like, ooh, that looks fancy, that looks fancy. So, I uh, flew over here, nobody is here, or had uh, claimed this spot, so I figured, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna claim this spot, this is, this, this is gonna be our spot. Um, I like it, I like it, it's fancy, it's fancy. So, what we are going to do is uh, gather up some resources, get a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a, Base going. I'm thinking at least, at least a sling, a slingshot, a sleeping bag, and uh, maybe some other kind of like walls or something. But anyways, we're gonna need some hide and stuff. So let's get down here and uh, also don't mind the the textures. Some of the textures look very weird right now. All right, so we are just gonna munch you guys. Nice and quickly, get us a little bit of hide. There we go. Alright, so let's get some thatch. Okay, that should be okay. I'm not gonna have a whole lot here um we're gonna have to grind for everything i didn't bring anything to really give us much of an advantage other than our tools here just to kind of help with a bit of a grind at the beginning um the yielding is to get us around because again the map is pretty big and uh if we're gonna live up there we don't really have any way of getting around very easily so we are gonna use the yielding at least a little bit um just to get us going i don't don't really want to be in the water Okay, so, let's get back up there and, uh, <laughs> uh, let's get into the water. Yeah, let's get back up there and, uh, get ourselves at least a bed made, hopefully. Now, I do have a lot of creatures and a lot of other cool stuff that we can bring over. Um, most of it I want to be able to get over here. I don't want to really kind of, you know, ruin that, uh, Woohoo, that was close. Um, I don't want to ruin the fun for us, so we're not bringing everything over. Just a uh, couple things to really make it easier to just get around, that's all. So inside here is where we're going to start our base. This this should be pretty nice. Should be pretty nice. Um, there's also the Astreos skin, which is cool, so we're going to get that going. And, okay, so... First, we need, oh, the hide. 
Right. Not a whole lot of hide, but it should be enough to get us going. Now, we need one more hide and we can build a bed. Really? Okay. Um, all right, let's just get a couple foundations down. I'm going to have to go and get some more, some more resources, but that's all right. So I'm probably going to need... Just hide. Ah, you know what? That's that is not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, so gonna try to put one over here so I can try to make like a nice doorway or something. Again, it's nice that we can uh, skin this. Oh, that's gonna be cool. Awesome. Now let's see what the skins look like. There we go. Wrong ones. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. That looks really cool. I like that. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. So I got to get a little bit more hide so I can place down a bed. Um, I'm also going to need a little bit more wood so I can build another foundation. So, I'm going to get a couple more resources going here just to get us at least a start. And uh, I will bring you all back. You know, there's a baby something there. What is that? Oh, you're not even a baby. What are you? Oh, you're the... Hold on. Do you need this thing? I spawned in and there was this in my inventory. Oh, dude, okay. So we can, I mean, we could get the baby ones there too. I just don't really, not worried about them. Um, we tamed up a 150 Magna Gecko just chilling here. <laughs> I don't even know what these things do. I just seen it and I was like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna take that. Um, Cool, cool. So, just wanted to bring you back to uh, show you that because it was kind of neat. Echo wheel, hold that drop tail. No, you can force drop tail PC only. No, no, you can do that on anything, okay? We can do that on everything. We just we just totally cut our tail off. What just happened there? <laughs> uh, what's going on here? Hold on. Agro. Oh, we have agro immunity. Gecko something. I don't, I don't know what we just did there. We just, we just we cut our poor gecko's tail off. Okay, we're gonna... We're just gonna get back up here. It's all small and cute and growing back again. That's funny. All right, um, well, we should have enough to get at least a bed going now, and uh, that was that was the goal. That was the goal. Um, because then, at least when we die, we can respawn back in. So, I'm going to get back over here and uh, get a couple of these things put down. Uh, let's see here. I'm probably going to move some of it after. Um... This is literally just going to be to uh, get us started. All right, so I need to pull the hide out of here again, of course. There we go. All right, so now we can at least spawn back in and uh, have ourselves somewhere to sleep. Trying to line this up in here. I just don't know how easy that's going to go. There we go. We'll go there. Give it a nice skin. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Um, let's just plop that there. Now we can at least respawn if we die. That's that's like the biggest the biggest thing. Um, Got to be able to respawn if we die. So we got a spot. We got a spot. That is that is good. That is very good. Alright, so 
Built two of those, so let's get a couple of them going. Just to give us a little start here. Um, we're gonna be going and doing some exploring, and I'm not gonna be using the Yiling uh, for absolutely everything. It's literally just right now to get us a little bit of a start, so that uh, I can I can actually get around without uh, too much of a problem. Okay. Now let's see. Yeah, that looks so nice. I like that. I mean, it's absolutely not. Uh... Ooh, that could have been. That could have been bad. Um, it's absolutely not uh, symmetrical, but that's okay. Anyways, that's gonna be pretty cool. All right. Well, I will bring y'all back in a couple minutes. I'm just gonna get a few more things cleared out here and uh, maybe see about a storage chest. Um, need more wood. Of course we do. We need more wood. Um, yeah. So I am going to. Oh, I have a rhino on me that uh, Nixon Yeti gave me a while ago when we were over at their castle. Um, again, I'm not going to be using this. It is only here because I can't even open it on aberration. So at least here I can get it out. I can just kind of have it sitting there. Don't have to worry about uh, losing it or anything like that right now. And it can kind of be a backpack. So it's just going to be a storage chest backpack for me right now until I can figure out what else to do. It's going to stay there. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. I'll bring you all back in a couple minutes. Okay. An interesting thing I'm noticing. That statue is turning. Okay. I thought it was just me at first. I really did. I, I thought I was going a little crazy. But it's turning, okay? I don't know if it goes by the time or what. But that lady was facing into the mountains like like 20 minutes ago. And then I went and made a copy and I came back and I sat here and I was getting ready to pick up the, the controller to record. And now she's facing this way. So... I don't know what that's all about. Let's... Take a look. Looks like it's pretty... Pretty far away, actually. Um, however, that might be the obelisk. I'm curious if those are the obelisks. Getting on and off the map, um, I'm going to have to use the obelisk to transfer. So I'm hoping that that's what that is, the obelisk. If not, you can use the drops, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a rock. I was going to say, what is that? Alright, let's see if there's anything good in here. Oh, you know what? That's actually all pretty good. So yeah, I can travel to a server through those if I can't find the uh, obelisk. Oh, I miss, I miss so many of these creatures. Man, I mean, I love Aberration, and it is actually one of my favorite maps. Definitely isn't going anywhere either, so don't feel like it's it's gonna disappear. Um, it'll disappear when when we finish it. But uh, oh, there is a lot of stuff in here. Anywho, we are just going to uh, get away from all that stuff. So, um, yeah, the aberration, uh, we are still going to be finishing that up and everything. It's just, uh, there's only a few caves left to do now, and then we've got the boss, a few other, you know, there's still some, some stuff going on on there. It's just, it's starting to wind down now to closer to the end of aberration. So, I am, uh, what is that? Oh, it's Maywing. Oh, cool. Um, so yeah, I am excited to uh, get over here and uh, get going on this. Um, it's only going to be, like I said, maybe one episode a week right now. Maybe an episode in a live stream. We'll see. Um, just until we finish up Aberration. And then uh, once we finish Aberration, we'll be over here playing this qu quite a, a lot until... Uh, 
make sure that wasn't going to attack me. I landed right beside a micro raptor. Um, ah, you son of a! I knew it. Luckily, uh, I think I'm good here. Oh, don't, don't attack that. Okay, let's get out of here before that thing keeps attacking everything. Anywho, um, so yeah, the, uh, aberration, we're going to be finishing that up, doing the caves, doing the boss, some more taming, and, and there's actually quite a few things we're still going to be doing on there. I just wanted to get a little bit of a start on here, a little bit, a little bit of sunshine, you know, get, get us... Get us out of the, the dark caves. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. I am definitely looking forward. And there's going to be everybody from the server on here as well. I don't know if everyone's going to be doing it kind of similar to me where they... Uh... Oh, the Thorax spider's on here too. Sweet. Um, where they bounce back and forth if, or, or if they're going to be waiting or what exactly is going on. But uh, I wanted to get over here and at least get going. This map is huge. Not gonna lie, this map is huge. And it's not even done yet. I only say that because trying to get over here is taking me a long, long time. And I mean, I just, I just want to get over here and see what's going on. That's, that's all. So the Yiling, like I said, it's only really here to get me back and forth between obelisks. Um, we're going to be taming everything here. We're going to be doing everything here. get this guy up here um so i didn't bring almost anything again just a few things to get us kind of started that's all the that's cool so i guess i just turns is that an obelisk what is that? Oh, free from Frosty. You know what? Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, not gonna lie, you scared me. You scared me. I seen this and I was like, um, am I am I gonna get attacked here? Okay. Um. I will happily take that, Frosty. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. Man, you are so kind, buddy. Um, absolutely, absolutely gonna scoop that up. Really, really appreciate that. So is this the... Ah, oh, this is the obelisk. Okay. So this is where we transfer in and out. This is... This is interesting. Okay. Um... Well, we have an RG now to use, which is actually really cool. Kind of glad. Um, I haven't tamed one of those since like I started playing Ascended. Uh, even on uh, even on the island, I kind of jumped over the poor things. Oh man. Okay, so these things are absolutely moving. Okay, they are absolutely moving. Or I'm just going crazy. But I feel like I feel like it's moving. Anyways, the. Uh, the obelisk is here. That is really cool. I like that. Um, a lot of creatures, too. Am I eight? I mean, we probably don't need to tame anything up quite yet. More kind of exploring around and stuff. Um, and I wanted to see if this was the way to transfer back off. Because I do have to transfer back and forth between here and Aberration, at least for a little while. Um, I could have brought a character. I just didn't... Didn't really want to bring a character with me. I mean, my entire playthroughs, I've made new characters for every map. And I mean, it's been fun. I have enjoyed it. But it is going to be nice to kind of take one character around and just kind of beat the game properly like it's supposed to be. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Getting up here is a little tricky. There we go. There we go. All right. I am absolutely not going to miss these yeeling either. I mean, I love them, but oh, they were just, just everywhere. Just everywhere. All right. So, diamond and a sore. Those things are cool. 
Again, if you haven't checked those out, definitely check them out. They are fun, fun, fun. Man, this is beautiful. Oh. Man. Like the statues and stuff are just so cool. Dude, that is sweet. Like the map is massive. Is that Chalica? It's a Chalica Ethereum. I haven't seen one of them in a little while. All right, you know what? This is this is nice. This is really really nice. Cannot wait to actually get into this and do some exploring. Like this is going to be absolutely incredible. Oh, I was going to go get that drop, but it disappeared as I was gliding over there. Of course. All right, well, I'm glad I know at least where the obelisk is. That is good to know because now I don't have to go looking all over the place. Totally feel like that's moving. All right, so now that I know that, um, there's probably going to be more around the map as they add to it. But for now, I honestly just needed to know where one of them was. Just to be able to transfer in and out of the map It's going to make my life so much easier. And that was, that was really nice of Frosty. It's got some geckos here and stuff for everybody too if they want one. Like, that is so cool. These things are cute. I don't know exactly what they do, but they're cute. <clears throat> Anywho, I'm uh, not going to scoop up absolutely everything because that would be very rude. Very rude. All right, let's get the... Okay. So what I'm doing <coughs> excuse me, is uh, keeping absolutely everything here <clears throat> in my Yiling. We'll take the uh, cryos. Oops. There we go. Take the cryos, at least a couple of them. Um, the mashed bugs are going to have to go in there because they're not going to transfer very well either. All the rest of that will transfer, which is good. The cosmetic is another one that probably won't transfer very well, so I'll put that in there. Um, all the rest of this should have no issues transferring. So let's get the shoulder pet off here. There we go. Cute little guy. Called it a Napster. I don't know. Just, just because I can, okay? Just because. Alright, so you're just going to uh, go in a cryo for now. And you're going to go inside here. The yeeling can transfer everywhere, so it's not going to have issues. Everything in its inventory should be fine, too, as long as I don't open it up. So, this guy is just going to kind of bounce around with us right now until I figure out... Uh, what I'm going to do for storage over here. Most of the stuff in here is for, uh, for Astreos here. It's not going to be, uh, used over on Aberration. It's more just kind of like a backpack we're going to be taking back and forth with us. Make sure I'm not going to have any other issues with things going across. Okay, so, should be good. I think that's, I think that's good. Um, this episode is not going to be crazy long. We're just kind of getting started and seeing how things are going to go. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Sweet. All right, well, I think we're going to end her there, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that sub button, tell a friend, share it around, all that cool stuff. Most importantly, hope we're all being kind to one another, being kind to yourselves, and I will see each one of you guys here real, real soon.